Hello everyone, this is Kai Bab Squirrel here, and I'm going to be doing a 2018 collection for you today of my model horse collection. We're going to start today with my favorite conga, that's the Clydesdale Mare Conga. I am now up to eight of them, and the newest being Alba from the Tractor Supply release. So we have a lot of horses to get through today, so here we go. First we have the black and white Pinto Mare from the um, photography set. Then we have the newer Clydesdale mare release. Next to her is Gladwin's Grey Lady, who is a Briarfest celebration horse. Then we have Blossom from the Vintage Club. Then we have Alba, she's very new. Here we have a Dapple Grey Clydesdale mare. Then we just have a Shire mare. And of course the vintage uh, red Clydesdale mare, one of the first that Briar put out. Next shelf over, we have the Othellos. First off is SBH Phoenix. Then we have Mariah's Boone with his little bent ear up there on the top. He was also a Briarfest celebration horse. Then we have Argyle. Next to him is Pamplemousse, Matt Fall, Xavier. And then we have the Gypsy Banner, which he was the first horse that I bought when I got back into collecting from our local brick and mortar store who was at the Arabian Horse Show. And then we have a Briarfest uh, store special, Dagbia. Next shelf down is my next favorite conga of a spreeze. On the very, very right, we have Prince of Chintz. Then we have the Esprit, the Grey Esprit. Here we have the Briarfest Special Run Palomino Samba Surprise. The Buckskin Pinto Samba Surprise. Then we have the Dark Bay Overo Samba Surprise. Then we have St. Moritz, who I was drawn for last winter. And then we have Pecos. Moving on, we have one of my newest favorites is Saffron. I think they did his color extremely well, and he photographs really well outdoors. Then we have another tractor supply run. His name is JC. Then we move on to the Nakotas. Right here we have Bats in the Belfry, the original Blue Roan Nakota. We have Java, who is one of my most favorite horses in this collection. He has done so well. I know some people's came out not too good, but I think Briar did a really great job on him. His eyes came out perfect. Then we have Kenoretta. And then we have Toro over here, which I also got from that brick and mortar person from Arizona. Down here, we have my True North. Then we have my only Copper Fox, uh, Laf Natusa Fabio, or Superman. Then we have Vallegro, Matt Indu from Briarfest last year. And then we have Acadia. On this shelf, we have Banks Vanilla, then Beachcomber, then Chanel, and then Cypress. Moondance. Matt Namid, Forever Sage with her uh, creepy eye looking at us there out of the whole conga. She was the only one looking the other direction. Then we have Glossy Namid, and of course, Regular Run Win. Getting lower on the shelf now, we have my Grazing Mare and Foal conga. So we have the um, Red Bay Mare and Foal. Then we have the uh, Crispin and Crystal. Then the newest ones from the Vintage Club, um, Clara and May. And then I just have a buckskin one. She doesn't have a full with him. Right here, I have Darjeeling. And in the dark, he's got another dark uh, semi-rearing Mustang. I call him Baron. On this side, we have Imperador das Aguas. And I keep him because he's from my first Briar Fest that I ever went to, 2016. Even though he's a little bit um, goofy looking, he is still cute, so I keep him. Then we have two Tritons flanking a Shire with a Corgi. Over here we have a classic Cordelion. Quinn from the Vintage Club last year. My Nazrudin, 
and my um, Palomino Marmori Stallion, which shows quite well, even though I don't think that his paint is very good on his mane or his tail. And then we have a Peter Stone Drafter. He's a blue roan. Moving on to the very bottom of the shelf, I have Spali Fretcher. Then she's really, really hard to see, but it's a Carlton Lima Emma. And then I have, um, I think his name is Kong, like one of the Prefert Hitch Horses, and a classic still in the box. Then I have two extra Nazrudins, two proud Arabian Stallions. The one on the left is named Dune, and I also got him at my first Briarfest. And then we have Huckleberry Bay, who was my very first traditional briar ever. So even though he doesn't stand very well and he's also kind of busted up, I still keep him in my collection because obviously it's a sentimental to me. He was my very first one and he did survive a, well not survive, he did fall off the shelf and uh, of course his stand broke. And years and years later, I finally realized that I could contact Briar and they would send me a new stand for free. And then I just had my dad help me dremel out the hoof and make the hole in his hoof bigger so that those stands don't get stuck and therefore break off. Next to him, I have another Briarfest celebration horse. His name is Atlantis Bay or Atlantis V. He also has a broken hoof because I tried to remove it and it snapped, of course. And I still haven't gotten around to uh, fixing him, so that's why he's a leaner. And then I have two in-the-box Nazrudens. If anybody's interested in those, please let me know. Moving on to the Horses with Stands shelf. Um, over here we have my American Pharaoh. Then we have Secretariat. Poltergeist, who is a Halloween horse. Nightmare. Twilight Terror. And poor Phantasma, whose base actually is broken, so that's why he's laying down like that. And I have a little wagon project that I made in sixth grade that I've kept because me and my dad worked on it, and you know, maybe I could put a model horse with it someday. Below that, we have my conga, you'd say, of the Shannondale mold. So on the very right, I have Vahana number one. Then I have a custom Marcus made here. He is that dark city buckskin. Then I have a Marcus and another Vahana. Next to it is my new Kaibab and he is really pretty, very glossy. I think he's very well done and I especially love. Let's see if I can get him down. He's got an elk on his belly. That is super, super cool because elk here in Arizona are extremely, extremely um, coveted, I guess you'd say, if you're a hunter or an outdoorsman, whatever. Let's put him back up there. Okay, next to him, we have Ulysses, which is from the Vintage Club this year, and then Glossy Wailua, which we got drawn for last March. Next one over is my stock horse shelves. We have the um, mule. Then we have Glitterati, who is one of the 65 anniversary, uh, 65 year anniversary horses that I got from a place called Cow Ranch here in Arizona. Then we have Kayanta, who also came from Cow Ranch. Then we have two Bay Roan uh, 75th anniversary American Quarter Horse uh, Association mares. And mine right here shows very very well for me. I really like her. Next over is Latigo Donut or Hollywood. Then we have Garrett from Tractor Supply last year and then we have Gideon from the Collector Club and he's wearing a parade saddle set that is missing a stirrup and yes it came that way. Below him we have another Saffron and he's got a little best friend who's a Peter Stone ideal stock horse. I don't remember the name. I want to say Jitterbug or Skeeterbug or something like that, but I'm not exactly sure. Then I have two Briarfest 2017 special runs. That is two Matt Bay Tobianos. Then we have Repeat the Beat. And then another Briarfest horse. Um, I got this on one of the leftover sales. And basically all I call this horse is the um, Hidalgo look-alike. 
Then right here we have another tractor supply that is Santiago and then a treasure hunt. What do we call this one? Rose Bay, I think. Rose Roan, I can't remember. Somebody please tell me. Next over, I have a bunch of Halloween horses. Right here is Nosferatu, Skullduggery, Ichabod and Crane. Then we have Cryptic, Calavera, which was last year, it's Halloween horse, and then this is Illuminati. Here we have the shelf of horses that has to sit slanted because, you know, they're too long to fit on these Walmart shelves. We've got two Gloriosos flanking a JC Penny um, Andalusian stallion. Then we have Griffin, aka Cheeto, in the model horse world. Then we have the Irish Draft. We have, um, great, what's her name? Kali, there we go, Kali. And now we have a constellation. Down here towards the bottom of this shelf, I have a um, couple more stock horses plus some duplicates. So right here on the left, I have a Briarfest 2016 bull. And then next to him is a black Stretch Morgan. Then Dickory, she is a proud Arabian mare with the charcoal paint. Then we have a Paint Me a Pepto. I believe his name is Chance. Then we have the Buckskin Appaloosa. Um, I think he's the Appaloosa Sport Horse mold. I got him at Cal Ranch. I don't remember if he came with a name or not. But I call him Atso Osi, which means little feather. Then we have another beachcomber, another win, and another moon dance. Now I'm going to go through the horses that sit on my other shelves. So we have my Clydesdale full conga, and we have Shadow, Clydesdale full that goes with the Clydesdale mare, then we have Belle, and then the red uh, Clydesdale full that went with the red Clydesdale mare. Up on top we have the Christmas horses from 2014, I believe, next to a cutout of Moondance that I got, and a bandera back there. He's a cutout. So if we come all the way over here to this other corner shelf, you can see I've got an assortment of uh, wildlife and uh, some stable mates, okay? Some of these deer, and especially that bear back there, I've had since I was maybe 12. And of course my mountain lion, don't forget about him. Up here I have Winter Wonderland, and it's hard to see because the glare, I'm really sorry. But I haven't taken him out of the box yet because I'm not sure if I want to keep him. I wanted to get him originally, but then I was like, eh, but I ended up getting him anyway, and I'm just going to keep him in the box for right now. And he's next to an American Feral Ornament. If we move down to this shelf, we have um, kind of some random things here. This shiny guy over here on the right. He is actually something that I got from my grandfather back in Illinois. So he has been around since the 1950s. And let me tell you, he is extremely heavy. He is made out of some serious solid metal. Let's see if I can get to focus a little better. Next to that, we have a painted pony that was given to me. Also a wooden carving, I believe, of either the Heartland version of the Proud Arabian Mare or the Family Arabian Mare, but that's just a piece of wood. It's actually a toy that someone had given to me from their childhood, and they knew I collected horses, so they gave it to me. And this right here is just some uh, ceramic horse from a curio shop my parents got me. And down here I have more classics, mostly Mustangs, because that's all that Walmart had, you know, way back in the day when I was able to get horses with my birthday money. Of course, I have my original spirit family collection right here, which I'll probably keep for a long time. Got a guy way in the back there. Sorry, it's hard to see. They're in kind of a weird corner shelf. So if I back up a little bit and then come up, I've got my last section of horses. Up here we have Sheila from Briarfest 2016. Here we have Paint Me a Pepto. 
And then we have My Bobby Joe, which I got drawn for last year. They did a random blind drawing and I got Bobby Joe. I was so excited. And lastly, we have my King Konga here, okay? So they don't really have very many names. This is just the uh, Splatter Appaloosa. Then we have the Charcoal. Then we have the Palomino. Then we've got Cole and Shockwave and Poncho Rex, which is really funny about Poncho is I saw him at Briarfest last year in someone's room while I was going and searching really intensely for another horse. And I just saw him and I was like, oh, he's kind of pretty. Plus he's glossy, he's eye catching. I went in there and asked the lady how much she wanted and originally she wanted 35, but she just said, you know what, take him for 20 bucks. And I said, sold, you got it. Just one of those horses that you don't expect to get at Briarfest, even though you know you go there with like a certain kind of list. But then you always see something random, you're like, huh, I've got to have it. So anyway, there you go. That is my entire collection. Hope you enjoyed it. And who knows, maybe more videos will happen in the future. Thank you so much for watching.